Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about Sophia Loren and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, fashion, and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my new Instagram account, Dahlia's in the Attic. I also link that below. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Sophia Loren and her favorite beauty products. So Sophia Loren was born on September 20th, 1934, and she is an Italian film actress. She is also one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood. She was encouraged to roll in acting lessons after entering a beauty pageant, and she began her film career at age 16 in 1950. She appeared in a lot of smaller roles for the earlier part of the decade, and then she signed a five-picture contract with Paramount in 1956, which launched her international career. So let's start with the different perfumes that she wears. The first perfume that she wears is Creed Irisia, and this is and Creed is a very old perfume brand. Grace Kelly also wears Creed. And it's pretty expensive. I happened to find a bottle on eBay and it was a little bit less expensive. Uh, it is a beautiful fragrance and it's made from the finest iris in Florence. And it's definitely a timeless fragrance. It has stood the test of time. It has middle notes of violet as well as notes of bergamot, peach, and mandarin orange. And then the finishing notes include oak moss, cedar wood, and amber. And the next perfume that she wore is Emmanuel Ungaro Diva perfume. This one was originally launched in 1983, so it's a little bit newer than Creed. This is considered an oriental floral perfume. It has notes of vanilla, sandalwood, citrus, as well as lang lang. And people consider this perfume to be perfect for like the night out of the town and someone who kind of wanna, wants to break the rules a little bit with perfume because it's kind of on the daring side with the oriental floral fragrances. And believe it or not, Sophia had her own perfume for Cody and it was in the 1980s and the perfume was called Sophia and it was actually launched in 1980. And I actually found a bottle on eBay. Um, it is definitely expired but some of the notes are bergamot orange and then the heart notes are clove cinnamon orchid jasmine and rose and then the base notes are musk amber vevetier sandalwood vanilla and there's a little bit of leather in there as well and most recently sophia loren had a collaboration with dolce and gabbana and they created a beautiful lipstick and it's called Sophia Loren Number no. 1 and it's a perfect shade of pink red and it was developed with the actress so it would stay true to her vision and what she wanted in a lipstick. I couldn't find this lipstick online anywhere. I think it was kind of a limited edition release but I definitely found some photos of it and it looks like a beautiful kind of pink reddish lipstick that would look good on a lot of different skin tones. And the lipstick tubes are signed by Sophia Loren herself. And so they're kind of a very unique collector's item. I bet you could find some on eBay that they might be pretty expensive. And Sophia Loren was known to have this like really beautiful skin. And she said one of her major beauty secrets is taking a bath with olive oil. So c considering she is Italian, there's a, a lot of olive oil in the food there and she would use it on her skin and in her hair to keep it moisturized. It also contains a lot of antioxidants and you can even use it as an under eye moisturizer, a hair mask, even a makeup remover. I also saw some vintage ads with Sophia Loren using a Luxe soap so there's no guarantee that she used the soap but a lot of old Hollywood starlets also promoted Luxe soap so it'd be interesting to see if she actually used it and Luxe soap is a very old brand it is from 1899 but it kind of gained traction in the 1920s in the United States. And I also found some vintage Max Factor ads with Sophia Loren so there's a good chance that she probably did use Max Factor for some of her makeup. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.